What up, peeps? It's your girl, Lash Comic World Takes Well. So, time we got some reaction time, and this is to Disney's Echo. But this movie for episode three, titled Tucklo. I hope I'm saying it correctly. I will say the last episode, we're, we're building, and I'm enjoying this because we got from the first episode uh, Maya's purpose uh, in regards to what she's doing. She, of course, wants the king out. She wants to be the queen, doing things, coming back to her hometown, and all the while, I was wondering, okay, why did you have to come all the way back there to do this? Hence, certain things that were traveling a ways throughout, you know, in regards to shipping. You see that she got a part of the cargo and opened up one particular um, one and uh, put a detonator in there, which when it eventually got to its actual destination, blew up, you know, causing, you know, a full, you know, explosion with the warehouse and all that, which we know eventually is going to get back to the game. And once he uh, fisk, uh awakens which we did see so like i said before it's a show because no one real, I'm, I'm thinking uh real life as they say you finish your job but hence in this one we need to move this story you know to see how this is going to turn out between the two and then knowing that of course grandma didn't know she was there she kept it from plus bonnie didn't know and it's like how are you going to let other people know and it gets around but people clearly saw her because not just uh biscuits knowing you know and then him you know letting it slip and he wasn't even the one. I don't know if he told the other two when they were talking to grandma, you know, using her truck, <laughs> getting helping him out yeah, and, and getting caught. And then the look, I still can't get over the expression on his face. That was hysterical. Him just looking at her acting like she doesn't see what he sees as he's driving away. Now he has to go fix it and explain himself. But needless to say from that, then also Henry showing up. Like, what are you doing? You're putting, you know, you, you're putting things, putting yourself at risk, and then you're putting the people you so-called care about at risk. Because I'm like, you doing this, not realizing it's not going to be some sort of retaliation. Then you remember now, from the first episode, you saw the guy, you know, sending that text out, is that bounty still out? So they might be somebody, you know, kind of, of course, him scoping it out, watching her. You just never know. And it's just like, girl, as smart as you are, and I, I know you are, but it's like you're making some decisions where you're not realizing there could be other things going on. If there's a fish shipping down there, you know damn well there's people down there who are always kind of watching, probably watching over your own family already and waiting to see if something's going to pop off and here you are. So that's just my little vent right there. But so far I'm enjoying uh, these past two episodes. So I'm looking forward to see what's on this third one. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. I'll say those some thoughts at the end, you guys. My goodness. <laughs> Don't give me that look. Well, I'll leave it to you too, Chola. What's this? Biscuit's near total my truck doing who knows what. Oh. He's covering for Maya. It's too much like her father. You don't know that. You don't even know her. And you do? You haven't seen her any more than I have in the last 20 years. You lost your daughter. Why don't you just swallow your pride before you lose your granddaughter too? Exactly. I can't talk to her now. Well, maybe you shouldn't talk to her. Maybe you should just listen for once. Oh, hello. And Maya's here. We're still a few hours out tonight. Have a ready oh, wait for my call. Oh, Henry! Oh, damn! I will babysit her since you two are too chicken shit. Fine, have fun. Um, 
Not a good time. Pretty busy. I, w I won't take very long. I, I just have some questions I want to ask you. Uh, privately. Yikes, the IRS. Is there anything I can do? No, no, no. I'm good. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it. Appreciate it. All right, Bonnie. Dispatch. Dispatch, Mr. Oh. 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 Exactly. Her zip ties told you I heard something. Whoa, 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 don't shoot her. If she's dead when they get here, we ain't getting paid. Dealing with an unknown kidnapper. Well, Go. What is she saying to her? What? Uh, whoa, they weren't supposed to be fighting each other. What's out of here? Come on. They're here. Find out, boys. She's here somewhere. Now, I was thinking you'd show me that money first and make sure it's all there. Like, I need to know that you have it. What? Okay. How you get jammed up like this? You got something to spill? Huh? I think he wants to go out. So take him out. Yep, you're done. I? But I thought, yeah, I understand that. I'm sorry, I. Let me just. Let's go! There's only one person who could have. You ain't killing him, honey. Live in New York. You represent your people. <laughs> Her heart was broken when you left. I guess we all do things we wish were different. Oh, oh boy. All right, you guys, this was a good episode. Looks like Maya's, as they say, behavior is catching up with her. Hence, of course, it has to happen in her hometown, of course. Being that she, you know, has, you know, left New York City for the time being, trying to do certain things, divert things and all that, to, you know, not to say draw attention to herself, but just show that she thinks she's more capable than Fisk. 
But then just going about it, I, I think at times I feel like in a wrong way. In instance, you know, you're asking for some individuals from your home, your family to help you, this and another and all that. Otherwise, like I said, putting them in harm's way. You see um, also that a conversation Henry and um, her grandmother had. And they were like, oh, she's just passing through. I don't want her trouble, you know, find this way. I will say this about the grandmother and uh, Maya. Just like Scully said, the, you know, the granddad, he was just like, you both, you're both, when he said it to her, you're both are alike. And she's like, oh, no, this, no, you really are. But definitely stubborn at times. And it just seems like when he made a comment when she came to see, because she, of course, you know, is upset about Maya putting biscuits, you know, getting him involved with some of, you know, the you know, little agenda, whatever narrative she has going on. But he's like, you know, yeah, if you don't want to talk, he says, but one thing she needs to learn to do is to listen. Because it's always her speaking her truth or how she feels about certain things. You know, Maya and her dad left. You never once reached out to him. Like, You're all angry and all that. She's like her dad. Okay, you don't really know that. You didn't get to know her for 20 years. You chose to alienate yourself. You are angry and I understand that because you lost your daughter. But then in the instance of you wanting him gone, you lost your chance to bond even more with your granddaughter. You know, that's not fair. And I know darn well that her, her daughter would hate for her to have that type of relationship with her her grandchild, being that her, you know, she is gone. She wanted her to look over and make sure she has an extra, you know, love and family and guidance as if just opposed to her dad. You know, not if both her parents are gone, you think she would have. And I feel bad for the one person who did try to reach out but wasn't even getting a response back, and that was Bonnie. And I feel bad that she got caught up in this mess. Her and Henry, honestly, Henry is definitely a little bit more aware, but Bonnie, very naive about it because she's just wanting to just see how Maya's doing. Maya didn't reach out during that text when she went, you know, dealing with her father, having him buried, you know, at the, you know, at the, what is it, the gray site, excuse me. So that whole situation, I hate that their relationship is strained because all she does is she just truly cares that Maya is okay and she wants to be there for they are cousin they are family even though Maya likes at that time when she was little like considers her like a sister but she's like you know we drift her apart and I said I was like no you didn't drift apart you just moved to New York honey she kept reaching out to you text emails and all you just never responded you deliberately did that you were angry and understandably so it's just like so much just the 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 pig head you know bullheadedness and other like I said stubborn and don't want to you know kind of work at it and all that I can understand how that could be. <laughs> so it, it's it's something I'm hoping with the last couple episodes, we might see some sort of communication with Maya and her grandmother, but that might end up happening anyway. You see in the instance, the guy who worked at the skating rink, you know, making that call and all that. And then Zane shows up with his, his men and they're, you know, trying to see, okay, you give us information, hope you're in line. And I'm like, you clearly came all the way down or so you must have had an idea she could be there. This is her home. Her family is here. And then the guy wanted the money. I knew eventually he wasn't getting it. And Harry tried to help him out, but he didn't want to listen. You see what happened to him? The other girl, you know, seeing a picture of the other one getting tackled eventually and all that and <laughs> whatever. It was just like, they're lucky and uh, not too much bloodshed on that instance between with the young ladies, but it's just what it is. They got caught up in that nonsense. They should not, the guy lost his life and it's unfortunate, but he was on the wrong side and he should have not been working with them because everybody can be replaced, especially when you work for Fisk. None of them, you know, Zane's still around, of course. Yeah, it's all rain good and all, but the other ones, please. So to see the scene that happens in the skating ring, I was here for it and loved it. Maya showing, you know, showing her skill set. Love that. Love that. I will say this, I knew it couldn't be the way it wanted to be where Zane had them both, you know, her and Henry, and you see what happened, got that phone call. We know who's watching who that was calling. They don't know. And Henry said, he says, the only reason that didn't happen, and you should know why, he's like, I, I shot him and said, girl, you shot him, but you didn't finish it. You thought that one shot was enough? That's it? Come on, girl. But okay, I, I got to say it again. Got to progress the story. You know, we wouldn't have a show otherwise. So seeing her, you know, conservative body talking about their talk, you see, she saw her, didn't talk to her. You did her foul again. As Henry said, he wants to help her. I don't know how, which way he has to clean up his his, his business and all to get it back running. You know, who else is excited or come back down and could cost something? She was kind of going back to her home, you know, to, you know, have the, that moment of the memories. You see who was there. I'll tell you like this, she's sitting there looking at him and just as angry, just staring at him, thinking, oh, I thought I killed you. I can only imagine what he's thinking right now. Like, I gave this girl a chance, but see, we know how you are. You know you had something to do with her father dying. And just like he's like, I lost my father, you killed him. Like, brother, are you serious? He likes to play each side as he possibly can because he always wants the narrative that works best for him. 
He only cares about himself. He knows exactly the right words to say, you know, and all that to finesse the situation, this and that and other. But always in the end, the last person that's going to always be standing nine times a day is always going to be him. So it's like, ain't nobody going to believe you. She's like, I fell for your okie doke. But I'm done. So I'm curious to see how he's going to tend, tend to her moving forward, especially in these last two episodes, because that brother's ferocious. I'm here for Vincent. Love him some him. So I'm curious because look at his face when he was just staring at her. I could just the way he was fighting, like, you know, back in the day with Daredevil, I could. OK, let me let me focus. But yeah. So anyway, you guys comment below. Let me know what you think and what that says. I'll see you guys in the next reaction. You guys take care.